card, we're going to be making this cute little dragonfly. So I'm going to actually cut the body out of this color pink, and then the sparkly pink is going to be the wing portion. So since I have the sparkly pink loaded first, we're going to do that. We're going to cut it at three inches. So that's on layer two. So I'm going to press layer two, then shift because it's in this corner. We're on page 24. And then I'll press the little dragonfly. You'll see just the wing portion here. I'm going to go ahead and press cut. And when we come back, we'll cut the dragonfly out. Alrighty, now to cut the dragonfly, we're still on page 24. We're going to press shift, release the layer two, and we're going to press the dragonfly. And you'll see the actual body of the dragonfly here. We're going to press cut, and when we come back together, we are going to put the card together. I did just realize one thing, and that's we still need to cut the body out of it, so his little face. So we're going to press layer one, which is already pressed here. And then we're going to press shift and then the dragonfly once again because we need that body portion. We'll hit cut and then we'll come back and then put this card together. Okay, so here's all our pieces. And you know the great thing about this is that I didn't have a big enough piece and so it didn't cut all the way over here. But the nice thing is that when I do glue these on, this is going to go this way here. And then this is going to go this way here, and you'll never know that that piece didn't go all the way because it'll cover it up. As well as you can see this tail portion here. Let me lift this up so you can see it. That got kind of cut off as well. But this is going to go right over the top of it, and you'll never notice once again that it didn't go all the way. So anyway, let me go ahead and glue this together, and we'll come right back. Alrighty, I have this polka dotted paper that I'm going to adhere to this pink card stock. Using just my glue runner here. Okay. I need to get that a little bit lower. Alrighty. Alright, and so what I've done here is. I have lots of these tags all cut out and in my scraps, and so I kind of want to use them, so I'm just planning on using some of them here. I'm just going to adhere this to this side here, and I'm just working on trimming off the excess. Whoops, so I'll just flip this over and trim it right up the side there, like that, and then... I'm going to be putting this guy here, but I want to add a little bit of ribbon, so let me add a ribbon to this and come right back. Okay, so there's my little ribbon I added to it. What a difference a satin ribbon makes on a card, don't you think? I'm going to have to get myself some more of that satin ribbon because that is just beautiful. And I think Kristen gave me that satin ribbon. I'm pretty sure of it. Kristen from cardsandclay.blogspot.com. Love that. I think that looks so cute. And then I'm just going to add this little guy on top of here. With, maybe I'll put the little tail in there. There we go. And now i got to figure out where I'm going to put my sentiment. So let me get some of these that uh, Sylvia had sent to me. These are some uh, mounting foam. Let me add a couple of these to the back here. And then I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna place my sentiment at because I'm not quite sure exactly. Okay. So we'll put this guy here. That is so sweet. Really sweet. Okay. And now the sentiment. <laughs> We'll figure out where I'm going to put that little guy. So give me just a second to kind of play around with it, and I'll put it on there. Alrighty, so what I've done is just did the high from the My Pink Stamper set, and got that fit on there perfectly. So there's my finished card. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a terrific day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.